Many years ago, my life was a mess. There were so many things that were wrong in my life. I was essentially living the lifestyle of a loser. I didn't have a job, I had no education. I played World of Warcraft all day. I just smoked weed and ate junk food. I was overweight, social anxiety, etc. The whole bunch. It was a mess. Now, over the course of those 10 years, I've made some drastic improvements in my life where I am now at the point where I am generally happy with my life. I am very satisfied with most of the aspects of my life. But most of this, when I look back on my, let's call it self-improvement journey, most of this started with me improving myself physically, because initially, I, I wasn't that confident. I didn't really believe in myself. I was living the lifestyle of a loser. And when you're living the lifestyle of a loser for so many years, you eventually start to think, uh, yeah, I guess this is it, right? You start to identify yourself as a loser and it becomes very hard to believe that you being someone that just eats junk food and plays World of Warcraft for 10 hours a day and smokes weed could actually change your life that you could actually be like an entrepreneur that is successful or that you could actually get a, a regular people job and interact with people, which is uncomfortable because you have social anxiety, etc. It seems very hard to believe that you can change yourself in all of these aspects. But I eventually got to this point where I was at least tired of being overweight, of being unhealthy and unattractive. And so I thought, you know, I could at least eat a little less food eat a bit healthier and I'll just put on a pair of shoes. I just looked in the closet and I think my father had like an old pair of shoes. I put on those shoes, I stepped out of the front door and I went for a run, like a five minute run. The first run was probably not even five minutes, like a one minute run or something. I thought I could at least do that. And so I started to run every day. I started with five minutes. Eventually it was like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It never was anything that excessive. I never ran marathons. I never ran for hours or something. I went for short runs every day. I started to actually lose weight. I started to do some exercises at home. Eventually I started going to the gym and I could see myself improving. I could look in the mirror and I could actually see that I had lost weight. I was less fat and I started to get slightly bigger muscles. And this, this triggered something inside of me. It made me sort of fall in love with improving myself, not just when it comes to the physical aspect of life, but it made me actually want to improve myself on the other aspects as well. It made me, and this is probably the most important factor, it made me believe that I could actually improve myself. Where before I found it hard to believe that I could change certain factors. I had feedback now. I could look in the mirror and I could actually see that I was capable of improving myself. And so I got really inspired to want to improve myself on the, the other, the mental and financial and all of those other aspects of life as well. My mindset genuinely started to change from a negative mindset where I thought, oh no, I am uh, struggling uh, with my porn addiction. I wish that I wouldn't uh, watch so much porn. And oh no, I wish that I didn't have to go to this social occasion because I have social anxiety and it's going to become uncomfortable. I started to think, I want to quit watching porn because I feel better when I don't watch porn. I started to think I want to go to that social occasion. I want to break my comfort bubble. I want to approach girls and get rejected so that I can actually level myself up socially. I, I switched from a negative mindset to a positive mindset where I was actually hyped on life. And this is a pattern that I see happening to so many people. I've seen this happening to guys I know in real life and I've seen this happening to so many people I see on the internet, YouTubers, etc. There are so many guys that initially start improving themselves physically for whatever reason that is. It, it sometimes is a very superficial reason where they're just young and they want to become better looking so that they can score more girls or something like that. But then as they go to the gym consistently, they start to fall in love with certain values, values of self-improvement. 
they start to believe that they can change themselves. These guys, they suddenly start reading. They start watching self-improvement content. These guys suddenly start meditating. These guys start their own businesses. They become entrepreneurs or whatever their goals are in life. It, it triggers something inside of them. It sparks something inside of them that creates a massive change in their life, a massive positive change in their life. And it was only years later that I saw Jordan Peterson on the Joe Rogan podcast and Jordan Peterson explained exactly what I thought. He explained exactly what I had experienced and what I had seen in other people. He said there is something about improving yourself physically that triggers something inside of you that makes you believe that you can actually change. He said there are so many people that struggle to improve themselves, but then they start working out, they start running, they start losing a bit of weight, and suddenly they get the realization where they're like, hey, I'm not actually a complete loser. I can actually improve myself. And that is then what like, it sort of flips around a switch that creates a change in their life where they actually can improve themselves on the other aspects as well. And so the point that I'm trying to make in this video is that if you are on self-improvement and especially if you are struggling with certain things like being productive and sticking to nofap, etc., and you are not exercising yet, you are not taking care of yourself physically, then start doing it right now. Not tomorrow, now. Just do one push-up. Get on the floor, do one push-up, put on your shoes, go for a one minute run, start doing something. Stop worrying so much about the other things. I'm not saying completely let them go and use this as an excuse to fab to porn every day. No, but don't worry about them too much and first learn to take care of yourself physically. Because once you learn to take care of yourself physically, learning to take care of yourself mentally will become a million times, well, not million, um, 10 times, 100 times easier. If you are not exercising right now, you are missing out on life. I've experienced it myself. I've seen it in so many other people. Jordan Peterson talked about the phenomenon. There is something. There is something about taking care of yourself physically that sparks something inside of you that flips around your mindset from negative to positive and it actually makes you hyped on life. Now you don't actually need to go to the gym. Yes, I've put the word gym in the title, but it can be anything. If you think it's slightly too intimidating to go to the gym or it's, it's something for later but not now, fine. Do some exercises at home. Do some uh, push-ups, pull-ups and squats. Make like a very simple routine. Look up uh, Google, simple home exercise routines. Start doing something. Start going for small runs, five minute runs every other day, something. Just start doing something. Obviously, the title of this video is also slightly misleading. I am not trying to imply that uh, the gym or exercising should be your number one priority for the rest of your life. That doesn't make a lot of sense, unless you're a professional bodybuilder or something like that. But I was just using this to try to prove a point. Improving yourself physically tends to come before improving yourself mentally. If you're not improving yourself physically yet, start doing it right now. If you have a friend and you think this friend could really benefit from learning this as well, share this video with them.